Hey, everybody, this is Beast. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scotty Allen Day. Should be a singer. Maybe, maybe not. But what happened to the message to stay home? Why does celebrities also pitch to stay home and not travel to Maui? Why are they pleading, or government officials pleading, for tourists to come back while the island's healing? Is there anything else we should know? Well, I did a lot of research, and I, well, I'm talking today a little bit about everything Hawaii, including what I have uh, read and researched about the famous banyan tree on Lahana. So join me, join me as I'm, uh, as I, as I talk a little bit about what I found out, what I've researched, and what I, what people have said about the Maui saga. So when Maui had the big fire in Lahana, and uh, over a hundred people lost their lives, and and everybody's been worried about the the banyan tree, which has been basically the hallmark of the entire island. It's a magnificent beast. It's almost an eighth wonder of the world. Uh, and, you know, just about everybody that's been there has fallen in love with it. So, somewhere in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the banyan tree. But right now, I'm going to talk a little bit about Maui in general. So, when government officials said people need to cancel their plans and stay home, not come to the island because they had the big fire. Once the fire was out and they were able to get people relocated and resituated, rehoused, and uh, got the rest of the island back in order, all of a sudden now the economy tanks. And Maui is home to about a population of about 55,000 people. When tourists are there visiting the island, it, go it swells to about a 155,000 to 175,000 people. So you're looking at about 100,000 tourists, 100, 100, 100 to 125,000 tourists to visit the island. Now, they visit the island, they shop in the shops, they go to the bars, they go to the restaurants. There's the economy for Maui. They buy the gas to rent the cars to go over to the uh, to the uh, seven sacred pools to travel up on top of the, the volcano to bathe to sunbathe on the beach all the multiple things that everybody loves to do in Lahana I mean in Maui the only part of Maui that's closed down is Lahana the rest of Maui is open now the government officials said that in haste because they were trying to help their citizens and several uh, celebrities, such as Dwayne The Rock Johnson and uh, Jason Mimosa, also stated, said, give our island some space. We need to heal. We need to start rebuilding. Stay home. Don't come to Maui. And other celebrities have also said that in order to be able to help Maui out but the message was still too big. Now, why did the message become so big in people's minds when they were trying to just get them out until they got things under control and then they get their tourists back? It's because of, we just got out of, when, uh, out of a basic major lockdown. And when people say, stay home, we stay home. So now the government officials are pleading for people to come back and tour, become, I mean, and, and vacation on Maui. Like I said, it's a major part of their economy. It's, uh, you know, it's, and, well, they need their tourists. They love their tourists. They like to entertain their tourists. Now, I started looking online after I read most of that and saw most of it and I said okay well let me check out Verbo first and I checked out Verbo and I mean the prices are all still sky high they're still sky high at uh, at $586 a uh, a day give me one second and I'll talk a little bit about it 
Uh, once I can bring it back up. Yes, I'm looking online right now. And, uh, you know, I I did some comparison shopping and looked up just so I could get ready to, uh, to, uh, to do my video. So, yeah, in some parts of Maui, it's uh, $229 a night, $750 a night, $1,600 a night, and that's just off of Verbo. Now, I went and I looked online even more extensively because I thought that was kind of ridiculous. It was kind of highway robbery, but I wanted to look a little bit more in depth. So, I went and looked at Hotels.com and Travelocity, and it blew my mind. So you have uh, the, the Aston at the Maui Banyan. Uh, you have uh, several other big hotels through Travelocity and and uh, uh, Hotels.com that it's anywhere between twelve hundred dollars a week to two thousand dollars a week. Some places are even offering free airfare if you stay at their hotel. So that's coming out of Portland, that's coming out of Seattle, that's going out of San Francisco, that's going out of LA. If you if you look and you take if you take a look and see what they have there, they're offering free airfare to the island. Free round trip airfare to the island. Uh, some of it is uh, $82 round trip airfare to the island. I checked a few uh, a few of the airlines websites and sure enough I'm seeing $82 each way for airfare to Hawaii, to, uh, to Maui. So basically Maui is open. Maui's trying to get their travelers back that have canceled their vacations. And those that have canceled their vacations now can be able to save a bundle and have a, and have a better time on, on the islands. So basically what they did was they spread the wrong message. They were just trying to evacuate, trying to get people off the island so they could be able to get their citizens uh, rehoused, uh, placed into another spot until they could be able to start rebuilding, close down Lahana so that people so that they could be able to focus on that area as far as rebuilding and uh, allow tourism to happen around the rest of the island. Now as far as the the, uh, the banyan tree, everything that I'm seeing about the banyan tree is very positive. They have a big team of arborists that have banded together, professionals that have been in the industry for years. They're using a, like a super compost tea, uh, alfalfa, legumes, and something else to uh, around the, the trunks of the trees. They're watching the moisture content around the trees. They've spotted brand new roots that have, that have developed. So they're pretty much saying that the tree is alive. They just don't know how long it's going to take before... It blooms again so it's probably gonna take time and these arborists are working around the clock watching and monitoring this uh, this phenomenon of a tree that just came back from a very big very I mean a very big deadly wildfire and once this tree blooms it'll become even more of a icon and uh, a landmark and a treasure for all of Hawaii. So hopefully in about two, three, four years I can go back to Hawaii and I'll sit underneath the banyan tree and my wife will be there with me and we'll enjoy the beauty of the tree once again. So everything's looking good for the banyan tree. Uh, everything's looking good for for, for Maui. Uh, if you had vacation plans, go ahead and rebook them. They're, they're welcoming people back with open open arms. If you don't have any vacation plans, go ahead and book it because it's probably going to be the best time ever 
to be able to go to Hawaii. So, I figured I would, you know, do a video in spirit of Hawaii because of the hospitality and the, the wonderful anniversary that I had with my wife there in Hawaii that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And kind of uh, doing a video, it's not really going to be very viral, but hey, I'm a small one. Every, every, every little bit helps. So, if you're, if, drop a comment in the comment section below, let me know uh, what you think about this video. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Hit that like button, hit that share button, so you can share with other people. Especially if you share with other people because of the fact that they don't think that Maui is open, and Maui is open. I will post the links to the articles in my, in my description. So you can read those two articles, the one about Maui being open, and the other one about uh, the Banyan Tree. Uh, and, uh, well, until next time, let's keep on rocking.